Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's Spur video. Go and have a look at the weather. Next day of 14 days for today's Spur video. Day 10 will take us to the 12th of April. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SNGFS and ECM ensembles. They run to around a couple of weeks. So we'll have a look at Surface V2 at the end of the video for the next uh, four weeks. So that gets us to the end of April. This is an April look ahead. If you like it, I should get on with that for you in a um, moment. <laughs> just to say that first video is six eight. Um, upload and we've also released the um the uh, fifth summer update as well update number five for summer 2023 quite interesting watch that one <laughs> not seen it yet do uh check it out uh i may have been ever so ever so ever so ever so ever so slightly giddy uh <laughs> so uh you know have a look see what you think it is a bit of fun it's a bit of a <laughs> bit of a laugh um right okay let's start off with uh, the ct then so uh, we've got one day's worth of ct data um now for april so a provisional up to the first which is like the only day of the month of course um the sectioning temperature is sitting at 8.3 which is 0.4 of a degree uh, above average so you know the first day comes out very close to average that's going to tick down over the next few days it'll drop down into seven as we are going to have um a cold night tonight and another cold night tomorrow night uh we confirmed yesterday that marsh's uh, ct came out a uh, nice round seven degrees which was uh 1.4 degrees above 61 to 99 average but within half a degree of the 81 to 2010 and 91 to 20 uh, averages we shall keep marching the ct through april these are the 500 millibar high to normally flow charts penn state university we've got the uh, ecm wf here on the top and the gfs which have a at the moment is on the bottom 500 millibars 85 feet there's an area in the actual high pressure low pressure are uh, being moved around by the jet stream running above red extrapolates to above average heights which is high pressure blue to below average heights which is low pressure you can see that the ecm in the 7 to 10 day time frame and this will get to uh like the uh, 12th of uh, april the uh, ecm has a big trough of below average heights low pressure in the north atlantic but it's a ridge that's sitting both to the south and let's change the color also to the east of the country a large area of high pressure over scandinavia actually looks a little bit like the uh low pressure in the atlantic is winning that battle between the high pressure to the northeast it looks like we're a little bit um westerly there but there's not much in it. it wouldn't take all that much of an adjustment for the high pressure over scandinavia to uh maintain control there the um gfs it's actually even quite usually for GFS stronger with the high pressure. So it does still have a low pressure in the Atlantic, but it's further away from us. It has this ridge building up from the south to uh, the north and also to the northeast. Well, it's just a large area of high pressure dominated across northern, central and also western Europe there with the uh, GFS. And clearly the GFS out of the two is uh, going to be the, the most settled option. These are the uh, GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. Don't look pretty done again today. Uh, the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Whittington. Um, and this gets us to the middle of April, actually, so it's for the next two weeks. So it's only our close to average up, but the upper air temperatures will be ticking up over the next couple of days. However, it will be quite chilly on the surface, especially so at night. Um, heading into the uh, middle part of next week and beyond, second half of next week, quite close to average, really. And that's the scenario throughout, actually, the uh, ensemble graph. You will notice the thick green line, which is the GFS sits there operational run, at times is... Um, Quite a dramatic outlier, especially here, where it really does take off and becomes a, a very warm outlier. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Um, so just a little bit close to average, a little bit above average, maybe, through the first half of April. Precipitation-wise, lots of dry weather over next few days. Some wet weather there uh, towards the last stages of next week. And then going dry again through the second week of April, up to around the middle of the month, where we start to pick up some more precipitation spikes then around mid month of course that's a long way off and uh, is therefore in the unreliable time frame so basically next week 10 days a lot of dry weather other than some rain between around the 6th and the 8th of uh, april with both temperature spikes just there right uh temperature anomalies from the 2nd of april coming out below average a little bit of a surprise maybe given that ensemble graph but remember our temperature don't give you the whole story i've 
would be mainly the nights, actually, the minimum temperatures that will be pulling these uh, temperature anomalies down um, over the uh, next week. Anyway, um, so uh, we see that uh, the temperature is a little bit below average there from the 2nd to the 10th of April, particularly so for England and Wales, most parts of the continent looking quite cold as well. And precipitation anomalies from the 2nd, 10th of April, driving and average in northern western areas nearer normal over towards the uh, eastern side of the country. And notice most of Europe looking really quite dry as well, especially the north and the west, so high pressure is in the ascendancy. Uh, really over the next week. Uh, this is the latest wind from that from Earth, no school.net, showing that we are now blocking off the low pressures in the Atlantic, but have been dominated weather throughout March. She says the low pressure now stuck in the middle of the Atlantic as high pressure building over the country and also up to our northeast. That's turning wind into this chilly east northeasterly, but it is bringing um, much more in the way of drier weather and will continue to do so. Right, UK met Euro then with chart data. This is how things looking in big night on Wednesday. High pressure dominating, but some weather systems coming to far northwest bring patchy rain meth. Um, that's around Thursday next week when we start to get some wet weather pushing across the country. Uh, and then beyond that, into the east weekend, high pressure takes over. Now, this is Good Friday, and that does look a little bit showery, I have to say, with between the Scandinavian High and the Ridge of the Azores. There's probably a weather system uh, through the country there. So, uh, Good Friday, Friday a little bit showery and then high pressure takes over across and to the east of the country through the east weekend bringing a lot of dry weather high pressure centers over Scandinavia winds pulling into a light easterly I can't again show that high pressure building through the northwest of Europe on Wednesday Trying, low pressure trying to come in from off the Atlantic, but being blocked really by that area of high pressure to the east and northeast. And into the weekend, into east, the high pressure takes over, blocks off the areas of low pressure from the Atlantic. Although they could bring some wet weather at times into the far west country. I think basically um, the ICOMOL has us under high pressure uh, into the east the weekend. Not overly warm, I don't think. You know, just probably about average with the temperature. Could be a little bit chilly if we drag in quite a crowd with those easterly winds. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, you know, about that a little bit close to the time frame. The GFS midnight run, again, with high pressure over and to the east of the country on Wednesday. Those system pushing through the country on Thursday to Friday. Um, that is good Friday, actually, when we've got a little area of low pressure that's formed on that weather system. So, that suggests like right, Thursday, Friday, we've got a bit of a wobble here with some uh, outbreaks of rain to start the Easter weekend off and then high pressure takes over strongly across Scandinavia we bring in uh, a proper easterly flow there which is probably going to be quite a cool uh, and cloudy easterly actually but uh, again there will be a lot of dry weather so that's the plus side even if it's cloudy and you know you've got to put a coat on at least people will be able to get out and about hopefully and uh, and enjoy most of what the east weekend has to offer once good friday is out of the way that's easter monday big air high pressure over scandinavia winds in from uh, the east classic spring easterlies there uh, with the GFS midnight run, and that carries on all the way up to day 10. By day 10, probably a little bit more south of east with the wind blow, so uh, I suspect that'd be a little bit warmer as well. Into the extended range, high pressure begins to weaken up towards uh, mid-April, and low pressure starts coming in from off the Atlantic. That will bring us a return by mid-April to unsettled weather with a bounce of rain heading in from the west. The GFS 6N run, again, looking like this, a trough pushing through the country uh, through the middle and second half next week, forming a little area of low pressure, getting the Easter weekend of Good Friday off to um, a showery and probably quite cool start. Then that gets out of the way, that little low gets out of the way, high pressure takes over across Scandinavia. Uh, that looks a little bit better, a little bit warmer anyway for the uh, Easter weekend, I think. There's a little bit less of an easterly flow, uh, although the high pressure of Scandinavia is still dominating, um, because the wind is a little bit more south and southeasterly, I expect that is warmer Easter weekend, and hopefully a little bit sunnier as well. There is a weather system coming to the far northwest, will bring some showery rain up there. Up to day 10, again, large areas of high pressure dominating the weather, uh, really, so we don't get that flip back to unsettled weather with GFS 6 there, but we had 
with midnight run instead, high pressure dominates in the second week of April, and then by the middle of the month, into the second half of the month, actually, 16th of April, that high pressure begins to pull back up to uh, Greenland, and we pull down cold north or northeasterlies yet again. So uh, mid April starts to turn colder with the wind going into the north. That's two weeks away, though, so not worth worrying about. If you, if you enjoyed the video, please you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. We thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that for us. Uh, GM, again, with high pressure dominating weather on uh, Wednesday. Weather system coming in off the Atlantic through Thursday, bringing some showery outbreaks of rain. Then that area of low pressure clears away through into the open weekend. High pressure uh, beginning to uh, take over. And um, we go through the weekend with high pressure dominating across Scandinavia, blocking off this large area of low in the Atlantic. Winds come from a southerly direction with the GM. So this is a significantly warmer scenario compared to all of the other model output up to uh, this point that we've seen. Um, maybe a little bit more unsettled though, below pressure off the Atlantic, but it swings around about, so the temperature is higher with the GM. And then the ECM at WF to round it all off shows high pressure again in control, really for Wednesday, although weather system bring, coming into the northwest will bring some showery rain. And then through Thursday, an integral Friday, that system pushing through the country, taking showery rain with it. High pressure takes over across Scandinavia as we go into Saturday. Winds pulling into probably quite a chilly east or northeasterly. Could be quite cloudy. Might even be a little bit showering as we're going through the Easter weekend there. And then, uh, as sure on the 500 mil of our height on the road chart, the high pressure of Scandinavia begins to retreat back to the east with low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. So even by day 9 and 10, the uh, ECM is starting to turn things more unsettled with uh, low pressure coming in off the Atlantic. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from tobetshow.com. Lots of dry where to come over the uh, next few days. There will be some showery rain in the far northwest country, but most places will be dominated by high pressure, at least until midweek. And then we get this system being through the country, bringing outbreaks of rain into the uh, second half of the week. That takes us into Good Friday, where we've still got some showers left, but the worst of the wet weather has uh, cleared away. And then bringing those easy winds over the uh, weekend. A few showers possible in the east and south east on those easy winds, however, many places dry. As we head further on into Bank Holiday Monday, wet weather begins to come back into uh, northern and western regions. And that takes us into unsettled weather by days 9 and 10, with outbreaks of rain coming across the coast. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. Gets us to the 12th of April. 22 members of the ECM ensembles, including the operational run, breaking down or a Scandinavian high retreating and uh, low pressure sort of breaking that down and coming in off Atlantic turning more unsettled. 16 though, just here. Keep the high pressure dominant over Scandinavia with winds probably coming from quite a cool easterly direction. And then 13 here, these are the best if you want spring warmth really. Uh, 13 here with high pressure to our south and also east, low pressure away to the northwest. Winds are coming in from a warmer sort of southwesterly, southerly southwesterly direction. So, particularly for England and Wales, actually, that would be proper and a genuine spring. Could be a little bit shiny though up in the north and west. I mean, too many times, these are the options that we've got. This gets us to the 17th of April. 20 members of the ECM ensembles with northern blocking. High pressure between Greenland and Scandinavia. There's probably some sort of trough through here in cool showery conditions. 18, similar to what the GFS uh, 6 said run did at the end. Taking that high pressure into the Atlantic. Moving up towards Greenland and Iceland and pulling in potentially quite a cold north northeasterly. And then uh, 13 with high pressure again bridging through the Atlantic up towards Greenland. Low pressure is over to the east of the country and winds coming in again from a chilly north or northeasterly with that. I have to say, uh, two weeks out, many of those options are looking quite cool. Uh, right, so CFS lastly, and then we're done. These are 500 millibar heights, and not know what to talk about. Um, no, this is the 500 millibar um, the CFS B2. And then we're done. I've lost my, uh, I've lost my script. What am I doing? Uh, CFSB2, uh, 500 millibar week clears. So uh, these are broken down into uh, week periods. Uh, the first week period will take us from the 2nd to the 8th of April. It's been a long weekend. I had to do five videos <laughs> yesterday. We're going five videos yesterday. Um, high pressure <laughs> dominating. So that might be why I was a little bit giddy on the summer update. Because by then, I was <laughs> virtually on my last lap. 
legs, really, with tiredness. Um, so high pressure dominates anyway across northern Europe in uh, week one, second to the eighth of April. Low pressure over Italy uh, with winds coming in from an easterly direction there. So high pressure in control, but not going to be overly warm. Now, week two takes us through the night to the 15th of April with low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. High pressure retreating a little bit to our east. So beginning to turn a bit more unsettled into um, week two there. Should be relatively mild though with winds from southwest direction. Now week three is going to be the 16th to the 22nd of April. Low pressure is right over top of the country. It's combined with northern blocking as well. So uh, that could be quite a cold ridge or quite a chilly ridge anyway with the wind blowing jets and going to northwest south be saliva could bring some cool air into that low and it, obviously it's quite unsettled and then uh week four this doesn't look great either this is the 23rd 29th of april again we've got a blocking feature uh away to the north we're stuck under a trough of low so <laughs> it's not great and uh that will bring us a cool and unsettled end to april but as it's four weeks away i don't think we need to worry too much about that at the moment. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please do you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gareth Worthy's. And we thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. We have reached our 15.7k subscribers. We are pushing on to 15.8k now. So uh, the ultimate target is 16k at the moment. If you uh, could give us a sub, that would be absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Okay, we're done. Just to tell us coming up tomorrow, I'll start on 6am upload. I'll try and get an Easter update in as well. It'll be a 10 to 14 day. I'll be live streaming at uh, at 8pm. Uh, so uh, we'll be live tomorrow with, uh, with a bit of 12z and uh, also with some uh, long range as well. So uh, we'll see you live uh, tomorrow at 8. But before then, uh, we'll be uh, a couple of videos also. You enjoy the rest of your Sunday afternoon. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.